So we're going to work on training a model to use on Runit. Now, to train a model specifically to use on Runit, you could use the train model tab right here. Or you can click over here on models. These will both lead to the same place. See, that brings us here. If we go back, we can click on this one. And it too will bring us here. Now, I want to keep in mind, any model trained here is to be used on Runit by Run Diffusion. If you'd like to use a model to run, say, locally or in other open source apps that we offer, like Automatic or Reforge and things like that, you're going to want to go to the open source apps over here and then train in Koya. And we have tutorials that are separate for that. This is specifically for models to be used on the Runit platform. So let's go ahead and click Train here. We have three different options here for training. You can do a character, you can do an art style, or you can do an object. We're going to go ahead and do a character. And there's going to be two options. Right now, there's just lightning, uh, which takes about five to 10 minutes. However, in the future, there should be a standard option with a little bit higher quality. But that's coming soon. So for now, we have lightning. And we'll go ahead and click on Go Train. On this one, we can make a title here at the top right. We'll just put a cute cat model. And we'll put a demo model right there for the description. You can put whatever you want in either of those. And then we need to go ahead and uh, get our images. Now, I generated some images with Runit. Um, I use the Juggernaut Pro Flux model to generate my images. And I just did a couple just to, as an example. So ideally, you probably want between 15 and 40 images. But because we're just doing this as an example to show you how to get it going, I just chose this number of images. So we got this cute little cat character that I did. And I try to keep it consistent with you know the face expression. They're not perfect. I mean, this one here, is, he's missing some of the white here, but it'll do fine just for an example. So let's go ahead and train now. So we're just going to click on this button right here. So we are training a model with your images. This process could take some time. We'll email you once the training is complete. And then we can just click here, go back to our models, and you can see it running right here. And you can just check on, check back in on this later, and you should get an email notification when it's ready. If this takes more than, let's say, an hour, go ahead and open a support ticket. Something might be wrong, and we'll look into that for you. Uh, however, it should work just fine, and you can just check on that a little bit. All right, we're checking back in now. You can see here that our model's finished training. There's a nice little display here. And as you get more models, you can see there's a character, art style, and object tab. If you need to make a new model, you can add it over here. So let's go ahead and uh, experiment with this model here. So we'll click on it one time. And we can either use this model, and it'll populate inside uh, Flux Dev, our, our existing tool of Flux Dev, or we can create it as a new tool over here. Let's just go ahead and put it in our existing one, Use in Tool. And then we can either pick Image Generation or In Painting. We're going to do some Image Generation, so we'll click on that one. And that will put it back inside of the last Flux Dev that I used, as you can see here. There we go. And you can see here it's slowly loading up my model. And there it is. Now my model's loaded. Um, you can see some of these generations have it, and some of them do not have it. Um, these two, uh, this one here on the far left doesn't have it, and also these ones don't. Because those that do have it, there's always a white spot on the nose, because that's what my data had, my data set had. So let's do a cute cat holding a what should be holding, guys? Holding a red ball and wearing a cowboy hat. Background, a desert landscape. Let's see if this does it. Now it should pull in that kind of cartoony style. Um, as you can see, all of the other ones worked. They, there was a cartoon style pulled in here. This one, when I had it off, had more of a realistic style. Uh, still kind of cute cat though. There we go. We got our chonky boy uh, holding the red ball, cowboy hat, and he's got that white spot right in the middle like we wanted, just like in the data set. So uh, there it is, guys. That's how you use your model after you've trained it, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a great day.